Hey tubers. In today's video I want to answer the question, how do remote control airplanes work? I had a friend who was asking some questions about uh, the difference between flaps and ailerons and I went to go look for a video for him and couldn't find anything. So I decided to make my own video. And so I'll be trying to cover sort of the basic uh, control surfaces and operations of an airplane and then also maybe go into some detail about how remote control model aircraft work as well. Okay, so um, first things first, I just want to demonstrate the, uh, the motor and the prop on this thing. I think one thing that people notice sort of right away the first time they see remote controlled aircraft is just how much uh, punch these things have. There's quite a bit of energy going through there. It has a really big battery um, and it just creates a lot of thrust and it makes a lot of noise and it's really cool. So um, yeah, I just wanted to show you how that works. So this is the controller here, and I'm going to go through these controls one by one. First things first, the throttle is controlled by moving this stick up and down. And as soon as I arm it here with my thumb, um, you're going to see that engine like rev up, and it's going to be really cool. So check this out. Safety first, make sure your airplane's not going to get away from you. And also, this prop will mess you up, so don't screw with it. So that's loud enough and energetic enough that I worry about whether or not my neighbors are going to be annoyed that I'm doing this sort of late in the night. Okay, so that's where the thrust comes from. This propeller spins, it blows air back like this and makes the plane want to move forward. Very simple. So next I want to talk about the control surfaces of the airplane. All these things that move, all these little flaps that go up and down everywhere, got one back here too. These are all called control surfaces. And I'm going to go through each one of these. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the elevator. But first, take note that I've removed the propeller from the aircraft. You should always do this when you're not planning to fly the aircraft, because this thing is actually really dangerous. Um, so let's talk about the elevator. The elevator is here. And what happens when I move the stick on the controller is that this little flap moves up and down right here. That's called the elevator. And what this does is, as it's flying through the air, air is rushing this way. And when the elevator is up like this, that causes air to be pushed up, which makes the thing go down. It makes the tail go down. What you're doing is controlling the pitch of the aircraft by changing this flap. And you can sort of imagine this as, um, you know, putting your hand out of the window when you're driving a car. This flap basically changes the angle that the airplane is set in this axis right here. And that's the pitch. And that's the elevator. Let's take a look at the controller. That's the elevator axis right there. Okay, so check that out. Let's talk about why the pitch actually matters. So it's a common misconception, or at least you should be a little bit wary of people who tell you that wings work and airplanes fly because of Bernoulli's principle. While it is true that Bernoulli's principle does contribute to the efficiency of how the wing works, most of how an airplane produces lift and how it actually flies through the air is called angle of attack. So when we control the pitch of the aircraft, like this, remember we've got this elevator back here, sorry, back there, um, what you're doing is you're changing the angle, okay? You're changing the angle of the aircraft as it flies through the air. And this angle is called angle of attack. And as the air flows through this way and hits the wing, if it's perfectly straight like this, it should do nothing. However, if it's angled up like this, the air comes through here and bounces off a little bit. And that's what actually creates the majority of the lift in an aircraft. As the air goes past, just like it would work as if you were putting your hand out of the window of a moving car, it hits the panel right here and just pushes the thing down. So it comes up like this. And that's where the majority of the aircraft's lift comes from, and that's the main reason why airplanes work. So next up we have the ailerons that control the roll of the aircraft. And I'm going to show you the ailerons in two different angles here. Okay, so that's the front of the aircraft right there, and I'm controlling the roll, which is this axis here, with the ailerons. Okay, so you can see it comes up on one side, and down on the other side. And the other way, it comes up, and over here, it comes down. OK, 
Okay? So basically what you have is a flap on the wing that when you set it to one side, one side goes up, one side goes down. And as the air moves past the aircraft, what it wants to do on one side is make the air go up, on the other side make the air go down, which in turn wants to make the thing roll like this. So it's going to go down like this, and then back up like this, and down like this, and down like this. And just try to imagine how the air flows across it. Like that. So that's the aileron channel. <coughs> These are the ailerons on the wings out here on the outside. And on the remote control, it's this right here. There you go, ailerons. Roll, nice. Next up, we've got the rudder. The rudder's down here. That's this part right here. So, as the rudder moves back and forth, it controls the way the aircraft points, like that. And this is called the yaw. So by using a combination of roll, which is like this, and yaw, which is like this, pilots can make very good, clean turns that look like this. Of you need to coordinate those two things together. When you're first starting out, you can probably just try to use roll by itself. And you can control an aircraft with just roll, combined with an elevator. That's enough to fly an aircraft. But the pros, they do it with elevator, rudder, aileron, everything all together. So you've got ailerons. Elevator, rudder, which is right here. You can't see it too well, but that thing's moving back and forth. And then, of course, you got throttles. Wee -wee -hoo -hoo. The final thing I want to show you is flaps. With flaps, there are these two control surfaces here and here. And when you deploy the flaps, those surfaces come down. And what this does is it increases the amount of lift that the wing generates, but at the cost of creating a lot of drag. So you deploy flaps when you're trying to fly at lower speeds. In particular, when you're trying to take off and land. So those are flaps, but those should not be confused with ailerons. Notice how the ailerons move in opposite directions of each other, like that. Whereas the flaps, they stay the same angle. Pretty cool. All right, tubers, don't crash. <laughs>